What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gunner here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the high grade Core Gundam 2 Titans colors and the Core Gundam 2 G3 colors, both of them from Gundam Build Divers Battle Log. Now, the clip you're seeing here consists of the Core Flyer forms, which the colors of them do work really, really well, and of course, the Core Hangar 2s, which they do come with their own ones. So, if you have some leftover armors that you want to hang up, you can utilize the core hangers that come in each of these kits. Now, they don't come with stands, however, so you will have to get your own if you want to display them in the air. Transform them back into the mobile suit mode, and here they are. The colors do work really, really well on each of these kits. The G3 colors is obviously just the G3 colors copied and pasted from the core Gundam 1 G3 colors. However, the frame color is a little bit darker when compared to the original core Gundam 2s. Now, they are a tad bit darker in a different tint, but they do actually benefit the rather paler color scheme, that is the G3 color scheme. Now, the Titans colors, on the other hand, do surprise me a lot, just because the initial reveal CG images make this thing look horrible. But in reality, the core Gundam 2 Titan color blue does look pretty good. I do appreciate the use of the red clear pieces. And the fact that this guy uses a lighter frame does actually bring out the dark color scheme and accent the whole color scheme. So both of these kits do look good in their own respective right. Now in terms of stickers, you do get all of the metallic green sensors and the eyes of the core Gundams, but you do also get the sensors on the core spray gun, obviously, and you do get the ones for the core hangers, surprisingly, and you do get two of these build divers insignias for each of the core Gundams. Now, I did not use them just because I think they do look a little bit tacky, but if you want to use them and stick them onto the thigh that they're supposed to, or just use them for the entire team, you can definitely go ahead and use these insignias, which is very, very nice that they included two per kit. Now, in terms of structural integrity, this is where everybody is worried because they really want to know whether or not the original core Gundam is going to haunt these two designs. Now, I am very glad to say that they do not suffer from the same problems. Now, the entire frame of each of the kits have been stiffened, so stiffer polycaps, so stiffer joints and the more prominent points of attention are first of all the wrists they are taking me a little bit of effort just to rotate them and bob them about so they will stay wherever you want them to stay the waist polycaps do work way better than the original core gundam 2 so you guys don't need to worry about that and the core defensor over here well they, both of them, they stu do still fall off with a few shakes, however, they do not slip out as easily as the original core Gundam 2, even when you've messed around with them for 10 freaking times, as is the case for the core Gundam 2 Titans colors on mine. And the core defensor nose cone over here, I've messed around with this for 10 times as I mentioned, and it's still taking me a little bit of effort just to break these things out. So... The overall integrity of the core defensors have been improved. They do not just fall out as if a poltergeist is haunting them. So, there we have it. These two core Gundams are really, really solid. But another point of attention are the thighs and the ankles on mine. Because the Titans colors do have looser thighs, so it is easier to rotate the thigh joints just to transform them into the core flyer mode. I think it's for the better just so you guys don't need to struggle if you want to transform these things. Same thing goes for the ankles, so it, they do rotate relatively easier, so that's a really nice thing. But the G3 colors do, su do suffer from really tight joints, so it is relatively harder to get them to rotate, and same thing goes for the ankles. Now in terms of nut marks over here, the Titans colors is horrible when compared to to the G3 colors. Because of the dark plastic, the knob marks are especially prominent, so you will have to get to work to sand all of those knob marks down just to get these things to look good. Now I'm gonna get to comparing them before I do anything else, so here is the big brother of them all, which is the worst version of them all, the Core Gundam 2. Regular colors. So which one of these do you like better? And just to give you guys a giggle, 
let's bring in the core gundam one in g3 colors now i understand this thing is basically primer so that's why the joints are in a lighter color but yeah i still prefer the color scheme of the g3 core 2 as opposed to the core one so in terms of inbox contents now the instruction manual is a little bit different just because it doesn't provide any information about the core gundam 2s not that you need to know any more they just came in this kind of a fold out sheet that has the full color page for the entire build basically and more of the build the weapons and the transformation and of course the core hanger 2s which you can absolutely use for other armors now in terms of level reports both of these kits came with the same leftover parts so i'm not going to cover each and every individual plate now for the d plate of course you do have these pieces and you do have the leg pieces for the armors which you can utilize with these leftover pieces of the c plate because you do get these joints over here you do get extra ones for the arms if some of you have loose arm armors you do get an extra set of these extra set of thigh armor extra set of chest armor and of course the leftover of the shield same thing goes for the titans core gundam but in the lighter colors but unfortunately none of them come with beams so you will have to provide your own so that's gonna wrap it up for the quick look of the separate core gundam 2 releases now apart from the core defensor being a little bit looser than i would have liked on the backpacks there is still an improvement over the original core gundam that just slips off because of a poltergeist or something like that but the overall structural integrity on both of these guys are a massive improvement when compared to the core gundam 2 that comes in the european gundams and since these are core gundam separate releases of course i am going to recommend them wholeheartedly especially when you want a core gundam 2 to go with the saturn armor or the neptune armor so overall with the problems involved i am going to give these things an 8 out of 10 each so i will highly recommend you guys to go ahead and pick these up for a custom build custom paint job or just to mess around with the color combinations of the planet systems so that's gonna wrap it up for me thank you all so much for watching this video if you did like it please be sure to drop a like comments and also subscribe for more gunplay reviews gunplay news and all that kind of stuff i wish you all a happy new year everybody and i'll see you all in the next video peace